Hello, my loves. Welcome to your love reading for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I hope everyone is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits, and Guides, Clarity, Guidance, and Love Messages. Clarity, Guidance, and Love Messages for my Aquarians, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Clarity, Guidance, and Love Messages for my Aquarius, please. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits, and Guides. Clarity, Guidance, and Love Messages for my Aquarius, please. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, so we have... Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Aquarius. Okay. So we're going to do a you versus them. So we have the chariot, Cancerian energy, and we have the three of cups. The tower, Aries, Scorpionic energy. The three of pentacles. Seven of Cups, the Eight of Cups, under the deck, the Four of Pentacles. So Aquarius, this could be your side, this could be your person side, but what I'm feeling here is, okay, so I'm seeing a, a, a couple different things here, we're going to have to clarify. So I feel like either someone is making the decision to come in and want to reconcile, um, just out of nowhere, like it may, you know, it may be very shocking. They just may just come in like a wrecking ball. You know what I'm saying? Um, wanting to work things out. Um, but somebody here may, you know, it's like, because it's so quick, because it's such a sudden change of behavior, someone may feel like it's an illusion and not respond to it. Okay. Or another thing I'm feeling here is someone is maybe in a third party at the workplace. Okay, there may be a friend or a co-worker that someone here is in a third party situation with. And um, maybe someone finds out that they're in a third party, disconnects and walks away because they don't want to feel like an option. So let's see what we have here. Spirit, clarity, guidance, and love messages for my Aquarians, please. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Aquarians. So for the chariot, we have the two of wands. Yeah, well, a decision is definitely being made here. Three of cups and the world card. Maybe someone's ending a third party. The justice card, the Libra energy. Three of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles. Oh, wow, I take that back. So someone here is leaving a third party. Someone here is ending a third party situation, leaving it out in the cold. It's like all of a sudden someone grows a conscience. It's like someone grows a conscience that says, no, I don't want to do this anymore. Seven of Cups. And the magician. Somebody here maybe was very manipulative, created a lot of illusions, lied. Virgo Gemini energy. Eight of Cups and the Hierophant Taurus energy. I feel like someone here is walking away because they're in a higher level of commitment. They're in a higher level of commitment. I'm kind of getting this energy here where someone was in a higher level of commitment and maybe they were going to a third party situation. You know, guys, this doesn't have to just be romantic. Okay. This could be a situation. I've actually gotten caught up in, in situations similar to this. So this could be a situation where let's just say there's a, a, a husband and a wife or a boyfriend and a girlfriend that are fighting a lot. They go to a third party, whether it's romantic or not, and they just talk a lot of shit. You hear what I'm saying? The magician and the seven of cups about how unhappy they are or whatever, or how they're leaving and they can't do this anymore. You know what I'm saying? Like all this stuff, right? But then they always tend to go back to that person. And sometimes they even take it out on you, yell at you like you're the culprit and, and fight with you and stop talking to you. Okay. Four of Pentacles and the Page of Swords. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Energy. 
Yeah, someone is realizing here that um, they shouldn't have given to a situation or the truth is coming out here that someone's holding back or didn't speak their full truth. Yeah, so we've got one person here that's pulling, this person is pulling away from a third party. This person created an illusion that maybe they were going to leave the relationship that they were in, but that is our, that they are not going to do what they said they're going to do. Okay, they are not going to be leaving the situation that they are in. Whatever they said, they're pulling back from that promise. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have here for my Aquarius, please? Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Aquarians, please. So we have the Six of Pentacles. And the Two of Pentacles. We have the King of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Energy. And we have the Nine of Pentacles, Pre Empress Energy, Virgo Energy. The World card. So now we have the World card here twice. And the Magician, Virgo, Gemini, Energy. The Magician here twice. Under the deck, the Five of Wands. So this person here has dealt with receiving very little from this connection, being breadcrumbed pretty much because they were being juggled with this higher commitment over here. Um, I feel like this person is starting to wake up. This person is starting to be honest with themselves. This person is starting to see the truth for what it is. I'm realistically single. You see what I'm saying? This person is like, you know what? I'm single. I'm not even in a relationship. This person is in a higher level of commitment elsewhere. And I'm just saying, and this person's okay with that. They're fine being single. This person is probably financially stable. It doesn't have to be though, but they're, they're emotionally, financially independent. This is someone who really doesn't need anybody. Okay. So they're shutting the door because of the manipulation, because of the drama, the strife, the jealousy. There's probably too much fighting here of, but I thought you were going to leave him. I thought you were going to leave her. You said this. You said that. Do you understand what I'm saying? Someone here just, someone here talks a lot of shit. <laughs> someone here talks a lot of shit. Do you want to know what you guys would laugh if you knew? I, I know not everyone's going to know what I'm talking about, but there's a, a song, I, I've heard it like on TikTok, but it's like that song, you talk a lot of shit, you talk a lot, it's like it's, it's, it's a song, look it up on, on, on you, on Google, you guys will laugh when you just put in TikTok, you talk a lot of shit, it's, it's like running through my head, it's making me want to laugh, but yeah, someone here just talks a lot of ish, they talk a lot of ish, and it's causing a lot of fighting, and it's causing a lot of drama, because this person here is obviously going to expect um, you know what I'm saying? This person to keep their promises or to follow through with what they're saying, which is not the case. And that's why we have the magician being cut out. We have the manipulator being cut out here. The world card, the world card, the magician, the magician. Tell me about the six of pentacles. We have the full Aries energy, two of pentacles and the moon, Cancer, Piscean energy. So someone here really trusted here. Someone here knew that they were receiving very little, but they said, you know what? I'm going to take the risk. I'm going to take the leap of faith. I really love this person. If there's a chance that I could be with them, screw it. I'll do it. Okay. So this person stayed in this connection, not knowing with the moon card, not knowing what was going to happen. Moon card, two of pentacles, king of swords and the empress. Nine of Pentacles and the Three of Wands. Yeah, see, so someone here was in a higher level of commitment. Okay, someone here already has an Empress. And we've got three, this, this pre-Empress waiting for this position. Now, guys, gender doesn't matter. This doesn't have to be a woman. It could be a man. So we have someone here that, you know, is waiting to fill someone else's spot. Do you understand? Because this person apparently must have said, well, I'm leaving this person. So now what we have with the Three of Wands and the Nine of Pentacles, Virgo Energy, is someone here that's waiting to fill someone else's shoes. The World card and the Seven of Pentacles. I feel like someone here is going to stop investing. The Magician and the Wheel of Fortune. So listen, guys, this may have been... Um, 
a divinely guided soulmate. Maybe it was destiny. Maybe it was meant to be this way. You know, not all soulmates come into our lives to stay. You know, they just don't. They don't come into our lives to stay. Some come in to teach us a lesson. Five of Wands and the Four of Pentacles. Again, look guys, we've got the Four of Pentacles right here. Someone here is deciding to not give to a situation anymore, okay? Um, it could be with that Wheel of Fortune energy that somebody is turning the tables on this person. Um, you know what I'm saying? Saying, well, listen, I'm done. I gotta go. I'm not doing this anymore. Challenge here, please, Spirit. Nine of Wands, someone's fed up. Three of Swords, yeah, someone's tired of being in a third party. And the Two of Wands, make a decision or I gotta go. Yep, someone's had enough. They're one wand away. Ten of Wands is completely like giving up on something. You know, someone's like, I'm at my brink here. I'm at my brink. You need to choose who you want to be with because I can't do this anymore. And that could be you, Aquarius. It could be your person. The outcome here, we've got the Knight of Wands, Leo Sagittarius energy. We have the Lover's card, Gemini energy. The Knight of Wands, Leo Sagittarius. Is that what I said? Okay. And the Judgment card, Sagittarian energy. So the decision that this person is going to make is they're going to say, I'm still going to play both people. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um... I feel like, you know, this this player here, because we've got this Knight of Wands energy, someone who just kind of wants to, you know, stick their hands in all the, the cookie jars, right? You know, um, the outcome here is that this player has to choose both people, but I feel that... Um, I feel like he wants he, this. This Knight of Wands energy is going to continue to play both sides for as long as he or she can. But when it comes down to making a decision, to be honest with you, Aquarius, from what I'm seeing here, it looks to me like they're going to go back to the more committed relationship. So we have here happy success, the loving woman. We have increase, friends and colleagues. Someone is in a, a connection already where everything's fine. They're in love. They're in a relationship. And the third party connection is moving more down a road of just friends with benefits or friends or work colleagues. Do you see what I'm saying? So someone is already in a successful, loving family, you know, marriage or, or relationship. And then we have another connection here that's just, you know, the road that that's heading down is just friends. Friends with benefits, whatever, you know, fourth chakra, action, and fifth chakra. Yes, yeah, someone here is communicating what's in their heart. Someone here is saying, listen, you need to make a decision because I love you. You know what I'm saying? What is in your heart? What action? Who are you going to choose? What what road are you going to go down? Who are you going to take action towards? Me or the other person? Is it me or them? What what do you want here? And I feel like this person is going to choose the person that they are in a higher level of commitment with. Um, express your love and healing family issues. So again, I feel like this person is going to make the romantic gesture um, to heal their family family and to heal the, their ten of cups, their ten of pentacles, their hierophant relationship. Do you understand what I'm saying? The relationship that is a higher level of commitment. If they have children with this person, if they have they live with this person, if they're married to this person, that's the person that they're going to go and express their love to. Okay? So you place yourself where it resonates there. Okay? Alright guys. I love you and take care. Bye.